All right, are we on? Cool. So I just wanted to make this video because I just passed my CSCS yesterday and um, just wanted to add more resources into YouTube because I know when I was looking for tips on this, <clears throat> there wasn't too much that I could see um, or that was within the last couple of years. So um, I originally took it back in July of last year in 2017 and... Um, I came out halfway through the test and I uh, got the notification that I actually failed the practical and I didn't know they were going to give me uh, my score at the halfway point so I didn't wasn't necessarily prepared for it so I didn't even end up taking like my whole break and I just went back in about maybe with five minutes to go and just took the science part and somehow passed that even though I didn't pass the practical. What really killed me on the practical was Carvone method for two of them and uh, I don't know what the other two were, but I know I missed it by four questions. Uh, so I ended up uh, taking quite some time off because uh, I started coaching high school football and uh, was working full time student loans like everybody else is. And uh, it wasn't until about February this year that um, I was like, you know, I have to get this done. So I really buckled down and. Uh, you know, purchase the test, you know, retake again, which thankfully I only had to do one part. I'm not sure what I would do if I had to do the science part again. Um, but anyways, so what I did the first time was, is I only gave myself like a month uh, to study for this thing last year in 2017. And that itself wasn't enough. Um, I also was working 100 hours 120 hours every two weeks or something like that and just there was a lot going on in my life and I didn't have as much time as I should I did read a chapter of the book every day um, and that was the third edition that I had at that time and uh, I also bought the uh, pocket prep app the CSCS one got about uh, about four four or five hundred questions on that one and then uh, when I came back uh, this winter it actually had like a hundred more questions which was great because I had studied all of them and knew them just by looking at them so to finally have a new twist and everything was really good um, but back to the first trial um, definitely uh, I mean it sounds silly but know your exercises know how to spot them uh, it's it's a lot of uh, stuff where if you read the book you do the questions you uh, get on the CSCS prep app with with pocket prep um, you really shouldn't have too much trouble on uh, the science part just apply yourself and um, wherever you can study um, if, even if it's five questions five ten questions um, something I uh, found uh, halfway through my undergrad was an app called study blue and study blue you may you type in the term of your flashcard and you click in the bottom and then over on the like the right hand side it has uh, other definitions that people already have and if it matches yours you can click to add it and it makes adding flashcards to your virtual deck so much easier uh, you can make like eight flashcards in for way less time than you could by writing them by hand now if that's how you learn then that's how you learn no knock against that but for me it was a game changer because I was able to study whenever, wherever, and I knew I didn't have to sit down and bog uh, or block out a whole hour at a time. Um, so lots of little sessions were key for me to getting through it. Um, so, and then on the uh, the second time, I went back to the prep app again, started doing a hundred questions at a time. Uh, that's something even. I did it the first time because you're going to have what, 300 odd some questions so you're going to have to get used to the fact that of of getting question after question after question after question and constantly having to think about each question um, so the more you can simulate those long question uh, practicing sessions if I get my words right uh, the better off you're going to be because that way when you get to the test you won't be like oh no I haven't focused for 300 questions in a row ever maybe since like my ACT or something like that you know or whatever other tests you may have taken so 
um, do do them as much as you can. Um, and uh, the great thing about the uh, Pocket Prep app, you see exactly where you're weak. It keeps track. Um, same thing with Study Blue, except for it just shows you the progress. It doesn't even show you the breakdown of the sections um, that you do. And if you want more tips on Study Blue, um, just type in the comment, or you know, I'll I'll even include uh, some way to get in contact with me if you like about it. Um, so did a whole pocket prep app. Then I started rereading uh, the third edition, which um, it was a little bit of interference between my two main sources because the book was in the third edition, the app was in the fourth. Um, so that uh, is really key to pick up. And luckily, um, my fellow intern, uh, Morton, uh, he let me borrow his for the weekend. So um, uh, that was huge for me. Uh, and I actually had one day off um, between the, my internship right now at Northwestern and interning. Uh, and I, I read, you know, all, all of the things I thought were in the practical. So program design, exercise technique, organization administration, and testing and evaluation. Um, I really read through a lot of that um, pr pretty much in one night, and I wasn't sure if I was just going to go on a suicide mission because I was reading like three, four hundred pages in like six, seven hours. Um, but the fourth edition really helped me know about the uh, about the new stuff they actually put in and changed, and I hadn't bought that yet. Uh, I've been I've been graduated for a year since my undergrad, but I bought the third edition of the book probably in 2015, and I just uh, haven't had the funds with going on an internship out earlier in northern Arizona uh, for the last semester of my undergrad, then having to come back to uh, Wisconsin to recoup some money, and then I'm down here at Northwestern. Um, so, um, and then there was another app that I found and it was interesting. Um, it wasn't, it's definitely not the best app. If you're looking just for questions alone um, and, uh, you know, just something to change up your mind, uh, the stimulus on your mind, it's good. I'm not really sure if you can see it, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just NSCA CSCS, like all one word, all caps, and. Uh, this one's got some different stuff, um, you know, some different questions um, that you may go uh, that may go well for you, um, but some of them are kind of kind of crazy. And the other thing that sucks about this app is that it doesn't really tell you where you can find the information like you can in the uh, Pocket Prep app. Um, another source I consulted was uh, a CSCS tip. Uh, test exam prep guide by Ryan Grella, I think his name was. Um, some of my other in interns had that, and it just didn't work for me. Um, I mean, while it was, you know, there were some good questions on there, um, I just, I just didn't have the right feeling about it, so I didn't really go into it. If it works for you, like I said, more power to you. Um, and then, so uh, the day of the test, it just. You, you just got to get yourself mentally prepared. It sounds cheesy and corny, but visualization does help. I sat up in my bed before I went to bed uh, Friday night and just envisioned just sitting at a computer and clicking and choosing the right answer. Uh, it sounds silly and crazy, but it worked. Um, so definitely eat before you get there. Obviously, just, you know, common sense at that point. You know, don't. Don't hop yourself up on the Red Bull or whatever. Um, and when you're in the test, my strategy was I went through I went through all the questions first at one time, and I marked questions that I didn't really know as I went through. Then after I got through all of them, which because of how I tested myself with the Pocket Prep app, going through 100 questions at a time so many times, I got through the first set of questions on the practical with about almost an hour and a half left, I swear. Um, and so then I had enough time to slowly go back through the flag questions the first time, then think about those and, you know, sort them out. Then after that, I whittled down the ones that I still didn't know in the flag, repeated again and again and again, till I had 
basically got in everything down in my flagged or marked questions for as long as I could. Um, and then for like the maybe last 30 minutes, I just tried going through all the questions, just look over, just click, yep, click, no, uh, sure, going over with that answer. And at that point, at that point in the test, when you're down to the, like the last 30 minutes or so, if you had gone all the way through like I had, you're just making sure you got the answers clicked, you, and that way you don't have any unanswered or anything um, or whatever, uh, or something might have came up to you. Um, and uh, yeah, I used about every single uh, chunk of time I had except for like the last seven seconds to submit the thing, and I got the sheet and I passed. Um, so it's definitely something that can be done. It, it does take a lot of work. Uh, but once you get it, it's 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 a nice feeling. It really is. And uh, I wanted to make this video to help you guys or anybody anybody else that comes after me, um, not uh, comes after me in the field about you know hey how do I study for this how do I you know get better at it um, just to want I just want to put my story out there um, whether this, whether this gets like one view in like 38 years or 100 views in 10 days or whatever I just want to put out there uh, to help other people who were in my shoes so um i'm going to like try to create a couple more videos i don't necessarily have the best equipment right now this computer i'm running on is probably running out of memory as i record this thing uh but uh it's something that i'm going to try to develop in my career so i can have something to uh build upon and hopefully maybe give you guys some cool content as well so uh thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions or comments just put them down below um, and, um, yeah, and, you know, other than that, you know, have you guys self a good rest of your year and I uh, hope to make some more stuff soon. See you.